Hey guys, welcome back to my small engine repair channel. Today I'll be answering a question that I get on almost a daily basis. And the question is, is it normal to have fuel leaking out of the carburetor on my Tecumseh engine on my snowblower when I prime it? Well, the simple answer to that is yes, it's normal. And I'll show you why. What I've got here is an Aaron snowblower with a Tecumseh engine, just like the one I'm talking about. And as most of you guys know, this is the primer that you use when you start the engine. And often the fuel that leaks out of the carburetor falls right here and goes onto the ground. What I'm going to do now is just simulate what really happens to people and just notice how the fuel is going to drip on the ground underneath the knobs. And there's the fuel leaking out. Usually it leaks right over here, but actually what's happening is it's trailing the carburetor and then falling over here. And here's a few puddles of gas. And this is typically what people ask me all the time, is this normal? Like I said earlier, it's normal, but that's because you're priming it a bit too much. Usually just priming it twice will do the job. Then you put the choke full on, half throttle, and she should go right away. But if you prime it more than four or five times plus, you're definitely going to get some gas leak. Here I've got another Tecumseh engine on a snowblower and I took off the carburetor cover just to show you exactly what I'm talking about. This is exactly where the fuel leaks out of the carb. And I'll simulate that once more so you see exactly where it's coming out of. And you can see the fuel's already leaking out of there. And by the way guys, you may notice this happen on these small push snow throwers that have a float carburetor. If you're doing this inside of a building, make sure to wipe up the gas right away. First of all, the main reason the fuel will leak is because it's being overprimed. And second of all is because the fuel cannot go up the pipe here to the engine. It's actually a good thing that it's set up this way because if it wasn't, you would end up flooding your engine all the time. So you don't need to be panicked if you see a few drops of fuel leaking out of your carburetor when you overprime it. And as long as you don't keep priming it, it's just going to stop dripping and it's not going to leak fuel anymore. However, if your carburetor is continuously leaking, you do want to get it checked by a professional. Because if it's constantly leaking, there's further issues with the carburetor. So again, guys, if you see a few drops of fuel like that when you prime it, don't worry about it. It's not very serious. Just make sure that it's not a fire hazard and that you're not over priming it. Like I said, you're best to just prime it a few times, put the choke full on, and then try to start it. If it doesn't want to start, then you may prime it a few more times, and then it should go. Thanks for watching, guys. Make sure to subscribe, and you can see me in my next video. Have a great day.